What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Also, do not forget to check out Sample Class. Stop by CMPKits.com and get yourself a copy of Hasta La Muerte. That's going to be the sample uh, pack that we're using in today's tutorial. And what I want to show you guys real quick is a hidden gem inside Studio One as far as sampling is concerned. So I've got this uh, this idea set up using using one of the loops from Hasta La Muerte. I'm starting to build like a pre-hook. I'm like, man, I really wish that I could have like a more chopped element instead of, you know, going straight into um, uh, putting this into sample one. What I can do is just go ahead and make some and make some chops. We'll do it every every half beat. Like we like we like to do, and I could go ahead and take this and do this every half beat. Right, and then maybe I'll just delete that, right, and press D to duplicate these. All right, so there is there is a command inside um, inside Studio One where you can change the position of the audio within the region, right? And what I mean is, let's see, let's make it so we could zoom in on it. So get this loop region right. So if we go and say I wanted to, you know, make chops now instead of playing it you know if you're if you're more of like a visual person you could take and hold down the option key and the command key and you're going to see your on the bottom half of the region you're going to see your cursor change to this left and right arrow with a line in the middle and what that means is you can now move the position um of of the wave um throughout throughout the whole song right so this can you can be really surgical like this <laughs> I can go and just be really random and just scrub through like the beginning. Look for look for maybe the beginning portion like here. And we'll see what this sounds like. And maybe I'll take this one and I'll reverse it. This one. Go to this guy here and see what that sounds like. You know, if you don't feel like, you know, because sometimes you you might just not feel up to chopping samples and stuff like that, and you just might be at the end of the process, or maybe you've made a couple beats already, and you're just looking for, um, you know, a quick and simple way to continue experimenting, continuing to create variation in your beats, and you know, using loops and compositions and stuff like that from CMP kits. This is a great way to add your own spin on, onto it. I'm just gonna use my uh, crossfade command here, and you'll see that, um, you know, once you do that, everything will flow together smoothly. <laughs> Say you didn't like this second note, you wanted to add some variation. And the great, the great thing about it is that, again, it, 
with so many of us, and there's no shame in this, guys. So many of us who came up uh, making music on on the computer, like we rely on visual aids. So this is something that could make sampling a lot easier for more visually oriented producers and beat makers. So again, this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials dot com. Check out Sample Class where we take you from chord to composition to cash. Keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one.